Welcome to www.happynumbers.org and today's lesson is going to be a continuation of probability. And just a quick review. Remember, <clears throat> we said that probability is always a number between 0 and 1, can never be less than 0, can never be more than 1. So if you're taking a, um, a test and they get one of the choices they give you for, an ant for a, a problem that deals with probability, if the answer is greater than 1 or less than 0, those answers cannot be correct. Um, and the way that we compute probability, which is a mathematical relationship, is <clears throat> we look at the total possible outcomes of some event, and that's divided into the number of outcomes that we're looking for, or the desired number of outcomes that we're looking for. Well, let me give you a hypothetical example here. Suppose we're at a bazaar uh, in town or something, a fundraiser, a church bazaar or something, and they have a game of chance. They have a board like this that's laying flat, and, and you get to throw your quarter at the board. And if your quarter lands in a red box, you get a prize. And if it lands in the blue box, you get an extra special prize. And so we want to look at some probability statements here. So let's pose a question. What is the probability of getting a prize? I'll use small p for prize. Now remember, we can land on any of the red ones or the blue one and we'll get a prize. We get a better prize if we land on the blue, but here we're just looking at the probability to get a prize. Well, Total possible outcomes. Well, how many total boxes are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 times 5 is 25. So the total possible outcomes is 25. There are 25 boxes here. If we throw, flip our quarter, it could land on any one of those 25. But we want to know the probability of us getting a prize, of winning a prize, either a big one or a little one. Well, that's the desired outcome. Well, how many desired outcomes are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and this one is nine. So, 25 divided into nine will give us the probability of us winning a prize. And I happen to have worked this out with a calculator, and I know that 25 divided into nine gives us 36 hundredths. So the probability of winning any A prize is 36 hundredths. Let's put that here. Probability of winning any prize is 36 hundredths. Good. Now, let's take this away. Now, what's the probability here of winning a small prize? Remember, if we land on the red, we get a small prize. Well, the probability of a small prize, I'll use SP, is equal to, all right, the total possible outcomes remains the same. It's always 25. But now we want the probability of getting a small prize, which means our desired outcome is just the red squares, and there are two, four, six, eight. So the probability of us winning a small prize is 25 divided into 8, and I worked that out on my calculator, and that is 32 hundredths. So the probability of getting a small prize is equal to 32 hundredths. Well, good. What is the probability of winning a big prize, which means just landing on that one? So, whoops probability of a big prize, total possible outcomes, well, it's still 25. Desired outcome, well, a big prize is only one box we can land on. So 25 divided into 1, and I worked that out, and that's 4 hundredths. So the probability of getting a big prize is four hundredths. 
what is the probability of not prize? The probability of getting no prize? Hmm. Well, we still know our total possible outcomes is 25. And to not get a prize, we'd have to land on an empty box. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So our desired outcome in this instance is 16. And I know from figuring this out on my calculator, 64 hundredths. So the probability of not prize or no prize is equal to 64 hundredths. There's an interesting concept here. Think about this for a minute. The probability of getting any prize means we could land on the red or blue. The probability of getting any prize is equal to 36 hundredths. The probability of no prize is equal to 64 hundredths. If I add 36 hundredths and 64 hundredths, what do you think I get? I get 1 or 100, 100 percent. So the probability of an event occurring and the probability of it not occurring equal the number 1. The probability that an event will occur and the probability that an event will not occur equal the number 1. Let's take a look at another example here. <clears throat> I have a um, set of dominoes. And the dominoes have 28 tiles in them. And seven of these tiles have the same number of dots on each side of the domino, like this. Like one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five. So seven tiles have doubles. Either it'll be five, or one, or two, or three. Now, let's ask ourselves a question here. Suppose we laid all the dominoes face down, so the numbers are face down, <clears throat> and we were going to pick one domino. One domino. What is the probability that the one domino that we will pick will be a double? And we'll call double D, because it begins with that. What's the probability that out of the 28 tiles, I'm going to pick one at random without knowing, what's the probability that it will be a double? Well, what are the total possibilities? Well, there are 28 tiles. So I could pick up any one of those 28 tiles. That's a possibility. But what's the desired outcome, or what am I looking for? Well, I'm looking for a double, and there are seven doubles. So the probability of picking a double is 7 over 28. And if I reduce that to lowest terms, 7 goes into 7 one time, 7 goes into 28 four times, and 1 fourth is equal to 25 hundredths. So the probability of getting a double is the total possible outcomes. There are 28 tiles. And the desired outcome, seven of those 28 tiles, what we're looking for, and that gives us the fraction one-fourth, which is 25 hundredths. Good. Let's take a look at one more problem here. Let's take a look at this. This is an interesting problem. We're going to toss a coin. So we're going to toss coin, and we are going to roll a die. 
we're going to roll a dice that has the numbers 1 to 6 on it. So the dice has the number 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, and we're going to toss a, toss a coin, and the coin has heads and tails. Now we want to know, what is the probability that we will toss a coin and have the coin be tails? What's the probability that the toss a coin and the coin is tails and when we roll a die we get an even number? Okay, so what is the probability that if we toss a coin, we're going to get a tail, and when we roll a die, we get an even number. Well, here's our coin, and we can get a head, or we can toss a tail, and if we get a head, we can roll one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, five, six, and if we have a tail, we can go one on the dice. When we roll the die, Okay, so here's the thing. We can toss the coin. We can either toss a head or a tail. If we toss a head, we can then roll a die and get one, two, three, four, five, six. If we cross a tail, we can roll a die and get one, two, three, four, five, six. But we want the probability that we roll, we uh, toss the coin and get a tail, and that we get an even number. Well, what are the total possible outcomes? Well, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There are 12 possible outcomes. But what is the desired outcome? Well, the desired outcome is that we have a tail and then an even number. So a tail would be this way, and an even number would be this, this, and this. So out of all of these, these are the desired outcomes. So. 3 is our desired outcome, so the probability that we would toss a coin and get a tail and then roll a die and get an even number is equal to 3 twelfths, and if we reduce that, 3 goes into 3 once, 3 goes into 12 four times, 1 fourth, and we know 1 fourth is 25 hundredths. So the probability then of tossing a coin and getting a tail, and then rolling a die and rolling an even number is 25 hundredths. Again, we toss the coin, we can get a head or a tail. Whoop. We can get a head or a tail. If we get a head and we roll a die, we can roll one, two, three, four, five, and six. If we get a tail and roll a die, we get one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have six and six, a total of 12 total possible outcomes, but we only want the outcomes, we're only going to count the outcomes that the coin is a tail and we have an even number. So our desired outcomes are three, so we have three twelfths, which reduces to one fourth, which is 25 hundredths. Well, excellent. That's our delve into probability theory. Keep in mind it's a mathematical statement about the relationship between total possible events and the desired event. Thank you.